Hey everyone, this is Electric Blade here, and today I'm going to be installing a NEMA 1450 outlet, and we are using some very, very heavy duty wiring. Take a look. Now, this is six, three metal clad aluminum wire. I am not responsible for any actions you take as I recommend hiring a professional. My videos for entertainment purposes, local codes may differ. We are now in a step of unspooling our 6-3 aluminum metal clad wire. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our wire all the way from down here at our panel all the way up and into our garage. So you gotta go through here. And you can see we've basically done this step already. We've got it hooked where we have other wires. And the um, aluminum metal clad means that we can do it without putting it into a conduit. That hole right up there is what connects to our garage. And we're feeding our metal clad wire right here through it. We're giving it lots of lines, that way we can run it to the connector spot. And as a side note, look at my hands. Oh, sparkly, sparkle hands. So, I'm like Thor, I have sparkle fingers. I don't think it's showing up on camera, but they're really sparkly with aluminum. Now, our house is a um, 200 amp service, so we have plenty of room to install our 50 amp connector. Now, the hot wires come in through the top, so I am going to say if you are installing this in a brand new house, you should probably put the uh, 240 volt plugs closer to the uh, two main wires, so that way there's less heat and resistance going throughout your bar, but it doesn't matter too much. These are some large 200 amp wire. And this is our oven wire. Looks like it's the same as the kind right there that we're using. I prefer this wire because it saves a lot of trouble uh, making conduits. But it does make it annoying to strip it. You kind of got to hacksaw it to get this uh, part off. We got a 50 amp circuit breaker from Home Depot. This, you can feel the weight, it feels quality. Now, it is a type QP and it is two poles. So, how this works is that our electrical panel and everyone in North America has the big input wire and the input wire has two hot wires. These two hot wires go down the panel into these, but they don't go down like that. They go down, uh, they go straight and then a two sticks out like that and then the second wire two sticks out so they alternate every other and they're on different phases so when you get 240 volts you put the circuit panel that and then and then it's on both teeth and each tooth is 120 volts put them together 240 volts so you can see just the little uh, knockouts kind of show how the teeth work now all these supplies from Home Depot the phase we're currently in is bracketing this wire to the wall so right now it is loose we have now bolted our wires to the wall with half inch uh, clamps this up and now we have took the metal off it with these they got sharp thing at the end and uh you can once you get it started you can just peel the metal and it keeps going like a spiral we have our wires and now we just have to find something to strip it with the ground wire is smaller than the rest of the wires because it does not need to be under constant load we just and the outlet does come with a strip gauge so our next step is we need to okay so the next step is we have to connect these and then we can mount it so you can see here it should come with a strip gauge it does now i know how far i have to strip the wire so 
you can use a fancy tool, which is what I'd recommend, or you can just use a uh, knife, and you line up the strip gauge like this. Okay, I know, put my thumb there, put it down, and I can strip this wire. Now, completed the step. All the screws are how they should be on the gate. Yeah. They're fine. Step is we gotta knock out this hole. Yeah. These are seven bones. Okay, now you gotta group the wires together, put them through. Now you need to separate them into the right things. Green one goes green, these hots get hot. So we want to get white on this side, green there, uh, red needs to go over there. Okay. Now that we got them, now that we got them in the right order, We finished here, we did the important test to make sure everything's really, really tight. You do not want anything to be loose. And so make sure once you have it all tight enough, you try to loosen it just by pulling and twisting on the wires. And you can tell because they won't move once you have it all set. Once we finished, mounted, you just got to slide this cover right on. Completely on, just one more screw. We bought this from the store. This is a uh, male end of a NEMA 1450 outlet, we are going to wire it to the wall connector right here, and we can take it with us if we ever move, so it's useful. So if you ever do stop liking Tesla or sell your electric car, you can always unplug your outlet or your uh, wall connector and just sell it online. If you want to do it on the cheap, I would just recommend hard wiring it because with the NEMA 1450 you have to buy the outlet box and there's a whole bunch more stuff you have to buy and it's lower amperage but that doesn't even really matter. It's just you're adding an extra element. We have our mail thing. Now we have to wire it to our leftover wire right here to add a pigtail and like that. Plug her in. Oh, there you go. Ooh. There you go. Nice that's, like a, that's like a salad. Yeah. Oh. Now we just gotta well, that's not gonna do anything. Here is our wiring. We came in through the bottom. Uh, green, red, black. Neutral's capped. Now that we got the outlet, the wall connector all connected, all those, now we have to wire them in this. We're getting ready to get our breaker in here. We gotta be careful. I just noticed our condensation is dripping all over the place, so yeah. we'll double check that. This side is the ground. You can tell because they are bare copper. Uh, plugged into that bar and this side is neutral you can see a bunch of whites going in there so we're okay there so we're going to use probably the bottom two step we got to pop a hole on the top get that So, you gotta get these teeth in there. Or actually, thank you. Put it, put it, on, the, put it on the bottom, the bottom two. Yeah, I guess. In there. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Knocked out our panel, and now we are all set. There we go. 
Proper knockout. Everything fits. Our ground wire sticking out. Not that great. Hey everyone, look at our finished product. We're going to plug it in now. Ready? Let's see what happens. It's going to say failed to charge because Tesla doesn't communicate well with the EV6. Equipment won't. So if you do have an EV6, it is very particular about what stations it likes to be plugged into. So make sure you don't get a uh, Tesla station for it. So now, here's how we fix this problem. It is really annoying. We either have to start it on the app. We're at 9.3 kilowatts remaining time, 3 hours and 55 minutes until 80. So, that's way better than 1.3 kilowatts is what we were getting on our uh, outlet. Thank you so much for watching my boring video about electricity. So thank you for at least skimming over it. I don't know. Also, I hope you guys like the setup.